How's it going YouTube? Lynx Forte bringing you the week 14 Pixel Dream League battle going up against Mark and the Phantoms. I don't want to mispronounce his city's name. <laughs> um, again, uh, I just want to say that I'm sorry that there's no team builder this week. Um, I live in Florida and we were dealing with a hurricane all week so I didn't want to uh, have any issues with it. Like I was having recording issues. Like I was recording for other videos throughout the week and then like my computer would go out and then the recording would just stop so it, it is what it is um, I didn't have too much prep and thank you he did not bring Mega Gallade <laughs> he didn't bring um, he didn't bring Golurk or Hippodon either so that's good so I am free to volt switch as much as I want the issue I am running across right now is whether or not Victini is going to be um, Scarfed or if Kurum's gonna be scarfed. Like he even ran Scarf of Zapdos once. So <laughs> he has three mods that he could just sit there and scarf if he wants to. Um my lead though, I think what I want to do is I want to just lead um Megalopony. Oh by the way, the team I'm bringing is Megalopony, um Sableye, Sylveon, Regirock, Heliolisk, and uh Dragonite. So I think I'm just going to lead Megalopony and get a fake out on whatever wants to lead. And then we'll just go from there. That way we can see potential items and things like that. Um, the issue being, if Kyurem leads, I really don't know what my switch in for it is. Like if, because I, I have to automatically switch out like in either one of Zapdos or um, Zapdos, Kyurem or a Victini lead, I have to switch out into something. And I don't really have a switch in because Kyurem could just go for a Flash Cannon or an Iron Head and he leads Whimsicott. So, might not be bad for me. It just kind of depends on what set he is. And I don't have, I don't have um, Fire Punch or Ice Punch. So, Let's see how much damage this does, and then we can determine what Whimsicott set this is. But the thing I have to be worried about with Whimsicott is uh, like a Stun Spore or something like that. Like I had, did I bring Heal Bell on? I don't think I brought Heal Bell this week. So that'll be an issue. Uh, that is a crit. But as you see, there's no uh, leftovers. So it might be offensive. Yeah, that did 50%. I think that thing is offensive. I haven't seen offensive Whimsicott in a while. I don't know like what it normally runs. But I'm just gonna click return and hope there's no stun spore. He switches out. What does he go into? My loader. So, the question is, let's see that fake out. That fake, or that return, I'm sorry, <laughs> I said fake out. That return did about what it should have done. Um, me going for a high jump kick is a roll, so I'm not even gonna play with that roll. I'm just gonna go into Heliolisk. And he actually just messaged me and he said uh, his city's name is pronounced y'all like it's y-o-u-g-h-a-l what did he go for that I'm that he missed sorry cuz I was too busy looking at the chat but he said it's pronounced y'all <laughs> it's funny so it's y'all phantoms so um, I'm just gonna click volt switch no matter what he wants to go to since he has no Volt switch immunity basically. And I don't know if this actually kills. Um, I am choice specs. So, what is his switch in? It's back into Whimsicott. And I almost killed. So. I have no reason not to just go back into Lopany. 
And the thing is, like, I don't. He switched out last time, so I don't think he has stun spore. But I don't want to risk it, so I'm just gonna click fake out. And you guys, um, I didn't say this earlier, but I'm sorry that the way the video is today. Like I said, it's been like a crazy week with the hurricane and me trying to do other videos. So I didn't really have time to like properly set up the layout or anything like that. But uh, you guys, I will have more videos coming next week. So it'll be like two videos a day or something like that, at least for four days, maybe five days, if I can get one more video recorded. So Monday through Friday, there should be like two videos a day or something like that. Um, one will be the Nuzlocke and one will be another type of video and you'll see what that is when it comes so yeah just look out for it I don't know what time it's going up yet <laughs> um I don't know what he goes into I didn't write down his team either where's my pen that was like the one good thing sorry I, I uh, went away from the microphone that was like the one good thing about the layout though is I had the team on the layout so I didn't have to write it down but it's okay so Whimsicott goes down to Megalopony and this pin doesn't work okay there we go <laughs> uh, he had Curum, he had Milotic he had Zapdos, Mega Metacham I wouldn't be surprised if he goes into Mega Metacham now um, what else did he have? Big Teeny was the last one and so Whimsicott is down And there's the Zapdos. Seeing as I can't touch it. No, wait, he didn't, did he run Choice Scarf or did he run Choice Specs Zap, Zapdos before? I, whatever. Um, I can't really touch it and I don't want to risk um, getting paralyzed. What I wanted to do a while ago was get my rocks up. Because I will, it would probably be good. Well, I know it would be good for Kiram. And Victini, actually. Can Helios take a hit from offensive Zapdos? Like, if he's timid, 252. Heat Wave hurts because I'm dry skin. Uh, Thunderbolt does almost nothing. And then I could just Volt Switch out. And I'll do about half to him. Well, max damage is half to him. <clears throat> There's a Thunderbolt. Uh, I think that did more than it should have. From 137 to 72, that did 48%. So what is your item? Are you Choice Specs? Because you're not Life Orb. Choice Specs makes the most sense. If he's timid, or if he's modest, either way, Choice Specs makes the most sense as to what his item is. He's offensive, so it's either timid or modest. I don't know. Because either way, it was a mid-roll. Um, but I do about 50% to him. Let's find out what he is. If he outspeeds me, he switches. And he goes into Cure him. So how much is this going to do to Cure him? Because that kind of determines what Pokemon I can go into. Oh, that did nothing. Okay. <clears throat> is, is that about 25%? I'm not sure. I am just going to go into uh, Sableye and then I'm going to burn it. Although he could just go into my lot. It. What sucks is if he goes for Outrage right here. It's it does a max of 82%. But I don't think he goes for outrage. 
I'm gonna click knockoff. Cause I think he's expecting me to go for the Will O Wisp. And he goes in my lot, yeah. So I think maybe he went for Toxic with Melodic and missed. And I don't want anything. I'm going to click Taunt. And by the way, Taunt was like a last second addition. I had file play on it originally. And I, yeah. So I originally had file play on it. Um, I'm going to go back into Heliolisk. I'm glad I put Taunt on it. So he stayed in. Is he going for Ice Beam? That would be a better player, but I would love for you to go to Scald. And I know I calculated this last time, but I'm just going to click Volt Switch. <clears throat> he goes into Zapdos. So, with Zapdos being offensive, I need to know can Milotic take it out, or can Megalopony take it out? A return hits it. Thing is, I don't know if that thing is Choice Scarf or not. That's what I have to worry about. Let's see, Max 252, let's say Timid. I could bring in Sylveon and take the hit. Or I could bring in Regirock and take the hit and get my rocks up. I think that's what I need to do right now is to bring in Regirock to take the hit. But Sylveon can actually take this thing out. If he wants to T bolt me, Sylveon can take it out. And that's a limited switch, and he could bring in Victini. I'm gonna click substitute. And if he wants to go into Victini, that's fine. Um, he can V create me, and then I can get off a, uh, a hyper voice after the fact. Like he could even go in the Mega Medicham. Well, Medicham can't take the hit, so he's not going in the Medicham. So Victini is his switching if he goes for it. Yo, that did a lot. I'm thinking choice specs. Did I say Choice Specs last time? I probably did. It has to be Choice Specs. I'm gonna click Hyper Voice. So he'll break my sub, um, and I will get a kill. So Zapdos goes down. I would assume Victini's coming in. Uh, Victini, I think, well, he could bring in Metachan. I don't. I have med, my meta champ switch in is um, Sableye though. Here's Kirim. So I'm assuming he either has Flash Cannon or uh, Iron Hood. 
What is my switch in for Kiram? Oh man, if I had remember I said choice specs Zapdos, I wouldn't have switched in. I wouldn't have um, substituted against Zapdos. Oh, let's see, if I bring in Regirock. I don't understand why Max HP Max Defense Regirock isn't already set on here. Let's assume he's Choice Scarf. Because as of right now, I don't have a reason to believe otherwise. Like, I haven't seen Leftover, so I don't think he's sub. Um, let's say Flash Cannon. Uh, let's say Iron Head. Regirock can take both hits. And he's not going to go for, um... He's not going to go for Outrage with Sylveon sitting in front of him. He went for Fusion Bolt. So let's get these rocks up. I would assume he's going into Milotic or uh, Metacham at this point. Milotic would be my, my guess though. Yep. And then he's probably just going to click recover. Wait. What I really want to do, I want to predict the recover, but I don't know if I really should. Because I want to go into Heliolisk. But with Heliolisk being at 32 HP and Ice Beam with kill. Ice Beam does 26 to 31%. I'm at 32 HP. I know I'm below that 30%. Um, I'm going to make the play anyway. Because I think he just goes for recover, predicting me to switch. And he went for the Ice Beam. So, what is my play? Uh, Sylveon, I don't think, takes out Mel or my loaded. No, Sylveon can't take out my loaded in one hit. And then he just recovers up against me. How much does the Mega Lopini return do? High Jump Kick takes it out. Actually, it's a roll still. I don't have to fake out. I could click Outrage, but... <laughs> uh, I am going to go into Lopini and click Fake Out. Like a fake out in the return. If it wasn't a roll, I would just click high jump kick. What is left? Uh, Megalopony. Or, I'm sorry, what is left? Milota, Kieran Black, Mega Metacham. And Victini. All right, so now I'm just gonna click return. Okay, good. 
I was thinking I might get a low roll on that one. <laughs> so whoever his scarfer is, that's who he brings in now. He could even bring in Mega Mega Cham, Meta Cham, and fake out me. But like I said, my switch into Meta Cham every time is Sableye. And in fact, I can uh, my switch in is to go to Sableye and then click Knock Off. Like I love Mega Meta Cham, but this thing can't do anything. Same with Mega Gallade, they can't do anything to Sableye. They don't get the moves to. Like at least Gallade can click Knock Off, but it's not doing enough. Mega Meta Cham has to rely on like Ice Punch. Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, if it gets, I don't, I, I think it gets all the elemental punches, but Sableye sits in front of them. So I, I think he knows I'm going to switch into Sableye, but really, like, what is there for him to do to do after that? Because I'm not sure if I actually live with V Create or not. <clears throat> but I'm just going to click Knock Off. Because uh, he, I don't think he stays in. Let me see what he goes for. He went for Ice Punch. That did a lot. More than I actually thought it would. Even if he goes into Victini, I'm just going to click Willow. Like, I wanted to click knock off, but it, I couldn't risk that. Seeing as how much um, that did. Victina, I wouldn't be surprised if it's choice banned. Alright, so let's see. Victina, being, Victina kills me, so I'm going into Regirock. That's my switch in, and then I just click Thunder Wave on anything, basically. I think I just, yeah, I think that's what I do is I just click Thunder Wave on anything. So I don't think Victini gets anything to beat Regirock. I mean, maybe he has, maybe he has Energy Ball. There's Bolt Strike. That'll do about 25, 24 to 28%. Uh, depending on the set he is, I don't think Energy Ball does anything, considering that he just went for Bolt Strike. So I'm, I'm just gonna, there's an the Energy Ball. How much is this gonna do? Yeah, it's not gonna kill me. Issue being though, <laughs> my rock slide doesn't kill him. But I can para flinch him. Rage of Rock got his glasses on today. And he broke through both. That's all good. But I know Victini is not choice in any fashion, so. Oh, uh, let's see. Would he run? Would he use Glaciate? Like, what is Glaciate? Let's assume. Is there a mixed Victini set? Oh, you special lore? No. Let's just, for sake of arguing right now, I want to see if I can set up on this Victini and then just finish it up with Dragonite. Glaciate, if he has it, two hit KOs me. But I think that's what I'm going to do because I don't think he's going to have Glaciate. Click Dragon Dance. He 
He might have Glaciate then. Yo, he has Glaciate. Only he lowers my speed, I didn't realize that. Alright. I did not realize it lowered my speed. Like, I never play against Victini. <laughs> I never play against special Victini. So I'm guessing Kyurem comes in. I have to let something else die. I think I just let Sylveon go down. Oh, here's Metacham. And then he's already revealed Ice Punch to me. So yeah, I late Sylveon go down here. Now I bring in Lopany, and Lopany can actually clean up. Like, I still have to be weary that Kyurem is, um, Choice Scarf, because right now I don't have a, uh, switch in for, out. Uh, actually, let me go into Sableye, and I'm just gonna burn it. Because I don't have a switch in to, um, <laughs> into Choice Scarf Kyurem at this point. Sableye brought his glasses today too. Now this part of the battle is going to get a little bit stally, you guys. I just need Sableye at enough health. Like, because I can still lose if Kyurem is Choice Scarf. Like, I need to be able to burn it, because I didn't bring E-Speed Dragonite. I just hope he doesn't freeze me, actually. Ah, there it is. There it is. He did this two seasons ago, and it kept me from getting into the playoffs. Just because he's burned, he can still kill a Dragonite, though. That's the issue I'm running across right now. Ah, oh, this sucks. He does 44 to 53% Dragonite. Is sitting just above half. Ah, uh, that's a roll. Dragonite is sitting at 54%. I can come in and Dragon Dance against him unless he goes for something else. No, Ice Punch does the most. Oh, wait, no. Ice Punch kills me still. What am I talking about? I, I looked at it as a still multi scope. Um, I think Willow is still breaks. He doubled. He switched out. Does Will O' Wisp free me? Does Will O' Wisp free me? Cause like, I know Skull thaws the ice, but does Fire Moves thaw ice? No. Like I think he can just click Outrage. Oh man. This happened two seasons ago. He froze me to beat me. I have to fake out 
and then switch into Dragonite and let Dragonite die. I actually no, I just lose. I lose. <laughs> Unless he gets a low roll, I lose. I'm a fake out. Oh my gosh, man. He did this two seasons ago. But that was me playing with the chance, the, the freeze chance, so. I would love to have seen him switch out right there. I knew this was going to happen. Like, I said it to myself, like, earlier today. I was like, if he freezes me again to beat me. Like, as we saw, the fake out didn't do enough, so. Oh, man. I'm going to click Drain Punch. He's not Scarf. Okay. What is he? Is he Bandit? What was he? He might have been Bandit. So now it's kind of like, okay, well, can Lopini clean up with a return? Yeah, Lopini kills with a return. <laughs> I was just making sure Lopini can kill with a return, but yeah. Maybe he fakes out just to get damage off, but yeah, I, Lopini wins with um, return. Alright, man. Whoa. Good game, Mark. Thank you for freezing me again. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, you guys, uh, hope you liked the battle. Last battle of the regular season of the PDL. Um, there's actually one more week left, but it's my bye week. So the next battle you guys will see for me is the playoffs. And there will not be team builders for the playoffs just because of the structure of the playoffs. It would be annoying to do a team builder. Um, anyway, this is Link's Forte. I'm out. Peace.